Welcome to our C++ Coding Corner. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from a developer looking to streamline their type defs using variadic templates. They want to know how to define a type def for function pointers more efficiently, especially in C++ 98. Our viewer has defined several type defs for function pointers, each with slight variations. They wonder if there's a way to use templates to reduce redundancy. Specifically, they want to know how to create a template that allows for a flexible number of parameters while only requiring the first type. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. In C++ 98, we can use templates to create a type def that allows for variadic arguments. Let's start by defining our template structure. Here, T1 represents the required type, while REST allows for any additional types. This structure enables us to create function pointer type defs with varying parameters. Now, let's see how we can use this template to define our specific type defs. For example, we can define a function pointer for an integer return type with a single integer parameter. Next, we can define a function pointer for a Boolean return type with no parameters. This showcases the flexibility of our template. Finally, we can define a function pointer for a character return type with a Boolean and an integer parameter. This demonstrates how we can handle multiple types. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To simulate variadic templates in C++ 98, you can use boost.preprocessor. It generates template specializations for different parameter counts automatically, allowing you to define a type def with up to 256 arguments. Here's a code snippet that demonstrates how to create a variadic struct and generate specializations using macros. This approach can lead to code bloat for non-template entities. While this method works, C++11 introduced alias templates, making it much easier to define type defs. It's recommended to switch to C++11 for better convenience and functionality. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Blah, 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 blah.